Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday, and yes, it's another day that I'm traveling to the office or what have you not. Okay, so um, I was just recording, and it just, I don't know, it's like I had to end up getting an interruption. Um, But anyways, the topic today is going to be worry or have faith, or faith or have, or, or worry. The thing is with faith and worry is that you can't do both. I learned that when I heard it from 50, when he did an interview with um, Oprah one year, and she was talking about his grandmother or whatever, and, you know, he was like, my grandmother would say, either you're going to worry or have faith, but you can't do both. And it resonated and it stayed with me for years, y'all. And the thing is, is that, the reason why you can't do both because they don't belong together. It's like oil and vinegar, okay? Am I saying that right? Oil and water, yeah. Well, it don't go. In other words, it's not like it's salt and pepper. Salt and pepper go together. But this is like it doesn't go together because the reason why is because it's the low vibration and a high vibration. They don't they're not on the same level. It's like a turtle looking and uh looking at a view and a giraffe. They are two different what the what the giraffe see is totally different from what the turtle see. The turtle see things on a lower level, uh and uh um giraffe see things at a different uh at a different level, a higher level. So that is, like, where faith is at. Faith is up there with the giraffe. So, like I say, you can't do both or whatever. You have to choose one. And I tell people that all the time, and I have to tell myself that when I'm stressed about something, and it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, self-check, what are you going to do? You know, it's it's like it's so easy at the time when you everything is going okay that you can tell other people, like, oh, well, you, you could do well, either you're going to do worry or you're going to have faith that you can't do both, you know. And it's like, at times, I'm doing both. You know, at times, it's like, girl, practice what you preach. And I have to put myself in that, uh, have to remind myself, okay, are you going to have faith or are you going to sit here and worry about this issue? So I try to bring myself out of the low vibration to get myself at a high vibration. Because what you have to remember is that, Whatever you think about or whatever you're going to bring forth, the universe does not know you don't want it. All it knows is that you attach the energy to how you feel, and it's going to come your way. I wish she moved with that muffler going on because it's, a, it's interrupting my, uh, Lord have mercy, it's interrupting my, my little thing with y'all. So... Yeah, I ain't trying to be on camera today, y'all. Um, trying to hurry up, get to work. And these people in front of me just won't let me be great. But it's okay. I'm going to get there on time. I'm claiming that. So, like I was saying, what was I saying about the vibration thing? You have to choose one. And I'm going to give y'all a quick story. There was a time, it's a lot of times in my life where things didn't go accordingly. And with anybody, I'm sure anybody was like, when they money funny, you start to begin to worry. Like, me, I'm a person, like, I like to have a little cushion safety net. Like, okay, I know this is what I'm going to do. I know this is what I have or whatever. But there was a time where I fell on really hard times. Or whatever. I'll tell y'all the story one day. Like, what happened? Somebody scammed me out of my money and everything that I should have known better. But, anyways, all I know, I want to build my business. So, make a long story short, that, like, really, really put me in a bad situation and everything else. But there's always beauty at the end of the day in every lesson. Don't never forget that. So, in the process of all of this, um, I ain't really had no money. I had like sixty dollars to last me to my next paycheck. And one thing about me, I'm not trying to say like I know I could do well. Like 
I'm not worried about. I was doing so well at this point, and I'm not trying to brag because I started. I started to tell myself different things. You know, being on a different vibration, and I started changing the way I thought about money. So, in this, at, at this time, I was not always. I wasn't living paycheck to paycheck anymore. Like, I was good. I was real good. And so at this time, by me hitting that thing and investing and trying to, and I end up getting scammed, but it put me back from ground one. And it did not feel good to me that I only had $66 to my name. And I was like, I can't, like, I can't go back to this. Who, who live like this? Like, I don't want to live like this. You know, I was, like, kind of freaking out, y'all. But something in me was, like, either you're going to worry or you're going to have faith. But you can't do both. So I started telling myself, and I tell myself this whenever I feel like, you know, whenever, like, money and everything, I learned this. So... I just knew how to manifest money, just tell you that way. And what I would tell myself was uh, money comes to me easily and frequently. Money comes to me easily and frequently. Money comes to me easily and frequently. It was like my my mantra or whatever they call it or whatever. And I would always have money. That's just, so I was like, let me get out of this slump. And I was like, I ain't going to worry about it. I was like, $66 ain't bad. Like, but I just don't like to be low like that. Like, I like to eat good. I like to go. It was just like, it was like putting me in a crunch where I felt like I was bound. I couldn't do things that I really wanted to enjoy to do. So, because I, sometimes I like to eat fancy throughout the week. It just depends. And it's not like I'm trying to brag or anything. Everybody got that thing that they like to do. And me, I like to eat fancy, you know. So, that's what I, I was doing. But anyways, so... Um, after that, I was like, I'm not going to worry about it or whatever. I was like, um, you know, because I got out of the habit of waiting for paycheck to paycheck, you know. So I I was living like that. I had cushions. So I was like, well, you know what? Let me go back to basics. And I was like, I ain't said this in a long time. Let me say it. So money comes to me easily and frequently. Money comes to me easily and frequently. So I was like, you know, it puts you, see, the thing about that is that it worked for me. It may not work for everybody. You may want to say something different, but it worked for me, and it put me in a different energy level, uh, and it put me uh, at a different um, vibration. See, back to vibration attaching to your words. First of all, the only way it'll, it'll work for you in whatever you do is you have to to know that it's true. You have to speak it. And some people say, speak it until you start feeling it's real. I'm going to tell you like this. Start, I used to do things that people used to tell, like, okay, I'm going to try it. It never worked for me. But I found out why it didn't work for me, because it didn't resonate in my spirit. So you have to do something that, try it out. And if you don't like that, then you find something that's going to resonate with your spirit because we're all creative. So you could tweak it. That's just like somebody that say, well, I'm going to make cornbread, and I make cornbread like this, like they say in the box. But you might not want to do yours like that. Like, it don't taste good. It tastes better when I add 2% milk or whatever that it is. It, you're the creator. You're the baker. You remember that. So, but I'm just telling you, like, it works for me. So I said it and everything, and I left it alone. I didn't worry because I knew what I put out into the universe that it was going to come back to me. And I, and it's something, when you leave it alone, that's another thing. You can't you can't be sitting over there like, well, I'm going to say the man, mantra, I'm going to say this, or the affirmation, or whatever you want to call it, but dang, when is it going to come? I'm looking for it. Don't look for it like you're looking for the mailman with your tax refund. Don't do that. Just know that it's going to come. It's going to be here because you mess up, you mess it from not coming your way. It's like you tell the universe, I, I, I said it, but I don't believe it. That's the only way the universe responds is with your energy. 
attached to the word. If you say you're going to have a bad day and you feel like you're going to have a bad day, you're going to have a bad day. But if you feel like, oh, good things are coming my way, I speak that abundance and I speak that into my existence and you really feel that, it's going to come your way and you're not worried about it, you know? So I did that. So in the process of me doing that, my cousin probably like, I didn't even tell her what was going on or nothing like that. But her mom wanted me to take her to go take her test. Yeah, the test was over there, like, it was over there, like, five minutes away from my house or whatever. And she was with me. So, um, she was like, you know, my mom was like, can you take me to go take my test and stuff? Because her mom was out of town. And I said, yeah, I'll take you. So that's only five minutes away. I got gas for that, you know? And so her mom gave me $40, okay, just to take her around the corner. She was like, I, don't, she was like, I really appreciate it. You didn't have to do it. And I was like, oh, thank you. I'm thinking like $40 for real, you know? She was like, I just don't really appreciate it. So I'm I'm up to, what, $104 before I knew it. I don't know who else gave me some money, but all I know is I wasn't worried anymore. And I ended up getting $150. $150 before the week had got started on Monday. That's because, like I say, I wasn't worried about it. I already had faith. I already put it in the atmosphere that money comes to me easily and frequently. And, like, Words are very much a power. So it depends on how you want to say it or what you want to say. It's very important. It's like putting a demand out. You know what I'm saying? You're putting this into existence like, I want to say somewhere like magic. Because we live in a magical world. And don't forget that. It is what it is. And I just feel like, you know, maybe somebody needs to hear that. I don't know. It's just I was thinking about a topic, and they came, like, where I can, like, yeah, that's a good topic. <laughs> Either you're going to worry or you're going to have faith. It's up to you, you know. Choose the red pill or choose the blue pill. It is what it is. And I suggest. It's like the Bible say, choose life or death. And the Bible gives you the answer, choose life. So if you choose life, choose faith. That's it. That's all I have for you all today. I want to hear from you all. Let me know what you think. If you want to share your story or whatever, because we've all been there. We've all had things. And you know what? Sometimes we create this big issue about trying to get things done or whatever. you like, I'm worried, I'm, I need to have faith or whatever. But it's all in our mind. Once we tweak it and say, you know what, this is going to work out like this. Let me get control of this. Let me get ahead of the story. Let me control the story, and the story is going to go like this. It's going to work in my favor. I have so many experiences where it it, it happens like that. And I'm sure y'all do too, but just remember that if you are having money issues or, you know, you're paying things, you know, tell yourself, like, you know what, I'm going to receive an abundance where my bills are paid up in months ahead of time. Like, that's my goal. Like, that's where I want to be. Well, it's not a uh, stress on me or anything like that. Money comes to me easily and frequently. You know, tell yourself that and believe that. And, you know, I got to start practicing again because I got so relaxed because things were good. I was okay. You see what I'm saying? You know, not that I, I, I want a whole lot, but I do like nice things. So I'm like, hmm, I need to tell myself that, start it bringing that tool in because it's like now it's like I'm okay, but you want to be great, you know, 
you want to have more of a abundance. Like, it's like, oh, okay, well, you know what? I got three months worth of savings. It's like, no, um, I want five years' worth. You know, start telling yourself, I mean, it's our world. You create what you want within this world. It's for it's yours for the for the taking. It's yours for the how they say for the asking. All you gotta do is ask, believe, and receive. And I don't wanna be for y'all long. I think I was a little lengthy. I'm almost to work, y'all. I'm gonna make it on time. Oh, is that a train? Lord tell me it's not so, Lord. Okay, y'all, I have to go. Y'all have a good one.